Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope that you all would be fine. Today in this video we are going to learn about the concept of loops in Python. But before starting today's video, uh, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel if you have already not done that and uh, also uh, like this video and hit the bell button so that uh, all the new notifications whenever I upload a new video will be uh, visible to you and you will be notified at the time when a new video is posted so that you can check it out and uh, you can get, get benefit uh, from the latest updates uh, that are posted in our group and uh, if you want to become a part of uh, our python training program then please comment and like and subscribe our, our, our channel and video and share it to your friends so that uh, uh, you can uh, get uh, the maximum benefit from this course and you, you, there will be uh, enjoyed learning with your friends when you will include your friends too so it, uh, programming is something that some people think that it is boring but it is not boring it is a interesting thing so we are going to discuss the concept of loops in python and uh, today's class is very important so uh, don't uh, do, don't uh, take uh, any of uh, the distractions in your room when you watch this video and uh, it is useless uh, to uh, to just watch a few uh, seconds uh, so that you will have uh, the um, important topics may be missed by you so if you will not watch this video from start till the end maybe there are some important topics uh, will be missed from you and then you will uh, ask about those topics and i will say that i have already already discussed these topics however if you have any difficulty or any question about uh, the topics related which are posted uh, uh, in this video then you can ask questions in our facebook group we will reply to your questions and we'll be happy to answer and help you in that case but don't give person personal messages i'm unable to reply each and every of the messages uh, i'm not active on these uh, things because i have some other certain responsibilities and duties uh, to fulfill thank you so uh, before wasting your your precious time i'm going to start the today's uh, agenda uh, what we will learn today loops the concept of loops in python so here is the presentation which i made for you uh, to discuss about the concept loops in python so what is a loop a loop is a sequence of conditions that is repeated until a certain certain condition is reached what is a loop it is a sequence it is a sequence of conditions that is repeated until a certain condition is reached we will practice uh, uh, the loops and uh, in today's class we will practice also practice but after this uh, the theory some theory we will learn after that we will practice the loop okay so these are the three types of uh, the types of loops in python and these are the four loops and uh, while loop uh, and uh, nested loop so all these are the kinds of loops three types of loops in python for loops uh, while loop and nested loop now after that uh, what is for loops it has the ability to iterate over the items of any sequence such as a list or a string for example we want to see we want to iterate uh, we want to repeat something uh, multiple times a number of times and uh, programming uh, you know that programming saves time so uh, if you write if you type certain things manually uh, and copy and paste it will take a lot of time for you to do so programming that is the beauty of programming and in programming there is a concept of loops and the uh, loops uh, makes it easy to repeat things again and again looping things looping concepts again and again looping concepts again and again iterate over the items in any sequence again and again so loops are uh, actually used for iteration okay for sequences 
so we have three loops uh, for loops while loops and uh, nested loops so we will start with the for loop and we have discussed that it has the ability to iterate over the items of any sequence such as a list or a string for loops are used for sequential traversal, traversal for example traversing a list or a string or any array in python there is no c style for loop for example in python we start we write loops like for std we start loop uh, for loop from uh, with the word keyword for 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 loops are started with the keyword for and uh, uh, for example uh, there is a loop uh, uh, there is an example of a for loop that we have for keyword and bracket open and then we have iteration initialization of the variable of initialization of for loop i equals to 0 so this is the starting point and uh, this is the ending point i is less than n and uh, after that we have i plus plus and uh, it is doing to uh, to loop that uh, you, you should have you should have uh, looping this i plus plus there is no for for uh, for in loop which is similar to for each loop in other languages let us uh, learn how to use for in loop for sequential traversals uh, for example uh, how, what is the syntax of for loop uh, and uh, the syntax of for loop is like for and after that we have a iterating variable in a sequence and we have a statement so don't uh, don't uh, don't worry we will discuss about uh, the for loops and we will practice then you will your concepts will get cleared we will create uh, 10 programs using for loops today we will we'll focus on the for loops and we will uh, create or discuss the codings of 10 programs simple programs for for loops which will be create using for loops so i have already created these those programs but uh, we will uh, discuss their coding and uh, after that you will be able to create this, these programs when you will practice uh, by watching this video and by practicing it so after the for loop we have while loop and uh, it is a statement in python programming language uh, repeatedly which repeatedly executes a target statement as long as a given condition is true in python while loop is used to execute a block of statements repeatedly until a given condition is satisfied and when the condition becomes false the line immediately after the loop in the program is executed so loop while loop executes only if a block of a statement uh, executes the block of a statement only repeatedly until a condition is satisfied if a condition is not satisfied it will be broken it will be broke break so the syntax of a while loop in python programming language is as follows i have not written it down but we will uh, discuss it okay after that while loop we have uh, do while loops so what is while loop uh, what is unique in a do while loop is the fact that uh, the code in the loop or loop block will be executed at least once one time and the code in this statement runs one time and then the condition is checked only after the code is executed so the code runs one first and the condition is checked if the condition checked evaluates to be true the loop continues so that is the do while loops after do while loops we have nested loop so a nested loop is a loop inside the body of the outer loop the inner or outer loop can be of any type such as a while loop or a for loop for loop for example the outer for loop can contain a while loop and vice versa so we have discussed about the theory of this loops and we uh, learn about these three types of loops but uh, after this we will uh, we will have this interesting topic of creating the loop uh, for loop practice we will practice for the for loop so here is the list of 10 programs which we will create today using the for loop 
so these are the num the programs number one we will create looping letters from a word and uh, number two we will create a program uh, and we will loop for printing all elements of a list after that we will create a loop to iterate multiplication creating multiplication table so that will be interesting too uh, after that we will be creating a nice program by printing list in reverse order using a loop and the fifth we will have will be calculate the sum of all numbers from one to a given number and uh, after that we will create uh, we will write a program to display all pri prime numbers within a range after that we will create in number seven uh, we will create a python program to find the factorial of a given number so after that we will create a python program to calculate the cube of all numbers from one to a given number after that we will write a program to print the following number pattern using a loop and uh, in the tenth we will uh, we will make a program to count the number of even and odd numbers from a series of numbers so here we start and uh, I have already written the code for you to stop waste of time but so that uh, we will be able to understand what this code this what this code is doing and what when it happens what happens when we uh, run this code so discussing about the syntax so we have the first program first example looping letters from a word so as we have discussed earlier that a for loop starts with the keyword for and after the for we have uh, we have for example uh, this program for letter in this word so we will see the for loop for iterating variable in sequence uh, the iterating variable it is letter in Arsalan so we have these letters a r s a l a and these are the letters in this uh, uh, in this uh, sequence so we want to print that letter after uh, after this uh, we will print uh, letter we will be writing this so you can see here that uh, these are the columns so you should take care of it after that you will have to write enter and create a print statement you can see over here that uh, it is now run so it is showing each letter in this sequence each iterating variable in these in the sequence of uh, this word arsalan and each letter is printed in a new row so a is uh, in on, on on the first row r in second uh, after that s and then a after that l and then a and then n so these are the these are uh, written in the new row and these are looping it will loop uh, until the uh, in each and every letter is written uh, repeated so in a new line so first example we have uh, seen the first example how to create this and uh, we have looped uh, letters from a word in this way we can change it to for example we can create Jamal and you can see over here that this is changed now the first example is now done now we have the second example loop for printing all elements of a list so I have created a list uh, for this uh, vegetables list and potato we have potato ginger potato my favorite potato ginger and garlic for vegetable and after that uh, the creating a list we will uh, we will uh, loop through it so uh, what is the procedure again we will uh, start a for loop and uh, uh, by 
by the start of uh, the keyword by in the starting we will add, add a keyword for after that uh, the iterating variable in and uh, after that the sequence iterating variable in sequence so variable vegetable in vegetables so vegetable is a singular noun and uh, vegetables are the plural noun so multiple uh, vegetable is uh, are included in vegetables so you can see over here that this the as the first example the setting example uh, is uh, will be show uh, will show the uh, items from a list and print all at elements of a list so that's uh, the same way that uh, we created a print variable and the current uh, vegetable uh, and uh, you can see over here that uh, uh, if we have this in the print statement we can write uh, any 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 print state any print uh, any text before the result is printed you can see over there the current current vegetable in semicolon uh, colon is in double quotes so it will uh, the python will not interpret it it will uh, write it as it is it will write is at as it is it will not change so python only paste it so you can see over that it is not executed this code is not uh, actually uh, is uh, blind python is blind for this word and it will only write copy paste this these you can see over that the statement which is in the uh, quotes you can see over here, here that and the print within the print statement but the condition is that it should be within the print statement and after that we have a com comma after that we have a uh, we have the iterating variable and uh, we have to what iterating variable we need we need a vegetable and these vegetable from vegetables so we need uh, each item in uh, in a row and after, before that we need uh, some we need some text before that before the result so we have current vegetable in each row so we have discussed the second pro program then we have loop for all printing all elements of a list so I will change for example I am going to change this it to lemon You can see already that uh, lemon is now written. Before that, it was uh, some other keyword garlic. I think so. Uh, it was uh, garlic vegetable. Uh, and uh, now we are going to the third example, and we are looping to iterate multiplication and creating a multiplication table. So before uh, we doing this type of iteration, we will do some mathematical operation. And uh, firstly, we will ask uh, from the user uh, an input from the user. We will need it, an input from the user. And the input uh, which will come from the user will be in a text string. Whenever we ask from a user the input, then uh, uh, it, it comes, Python returns uh, to uh, it to us in the form uh, of a text or a string. So we need to convert a string to a number or an integer before we we do any operation, whether multiplication, addition, subtraction, or any other operation. So you can see over here that we have uh, created a variable, and in that variable we are going to take an input of a number. We are asking the user of a number, and. Uh, we are saying that enter the number of which the user wants to print the multiplication table so when i will hit enter then python will show will ask me the number to uh, display the table so but we but will but we'll not at this time once we will complete this program and we will if we run this program at this time in this row then python and uh, 
delete this from here to there then python only do this will never do anything but before we want uh, we want the multiplication table we will first ask the user form about the uh, multiple about the number of which we want to print the multiplication table after that we are using the for loop to iterate multiplication table 10 times it is these are comments comments are need, uh, not printed by python not executable table codes these are for our reference whenever uh, we come back to our code in the future then we will get an idea we will get an idea about what this code what this code was because uh, uh, if uh, you are an experienced programmer and you have written uh, multiple hundreds of thousands of lines of code and multiple programs and you are not commenting each and every con uh, each and every piece of code then you will after uh, two or three months or six months you will uh, for example you needed that block of code again so uh, if you, the code will not be commented it will be impossible for you to understand the code or you have for example uh, someone else in your team and you are giving to that project to him then uh, if uh, the code was would not, would not be commented then uh, they will never have an idea about what they were you are mean to do in that code so uh, that's why co commenting good comments is a key quality for a uh, becoming a good programmer so we are using here for for loop 2 it is the best practice to write comments uh, in coding before uh, before the line of code uh, whenever each important uh, con each important operation is executed uh, we want to execute we should have passed a commit so we are using for loop to iterate the multiplication 10 times so we will print the multiplication table of uh, we will uh, create a print statement and then the multiplication table of after that uh, you can see over here that this is uh, the string is string and it will be as it is printed by python and after that we have the uh, iterating variable we have the variable number you can see over that whichever code is uh, executed well, whichever uh, number is in, uh, provided by the user as an input then that number will be uh, executed by python and after taking this uh, numbers and printing this number into the uh, memory you can see over here that python after that we you will have to uh, start a for loop so that you can uh, do an operation with that code so we will start a for loop or uh, and uh, for count in range so because we want to count and uh, the, this word uh, count is not that which you can you cannot change you can change into anything for abb for example you can see over here that this is showing me again right correct code so we have created this for count in range and the range should be started from uh, the index 1 to 21 so the table will be started from 1 to one number less than this last number so it will be started from 1 and and before 21 and before 21 so what this code line of course is at uh, start start for loop and uh, uh, the initializing variable should be saved in the count in range the range should be from uh, starting from one uh, till one number less than 21 so it will be, uh, it will uh, create a table from uh, create the table of 20 and each time it will multiply by, by with by one so after that we will uh, print the result uh, we have created here the 
for loop and now uh, in the for loop we have we need a statement which we need to be executed uh, each time the loop is called each time the loop is iterated so we will write a print statement and the number multiplier and after and the x this is x number a number whatever number is saved in this in the result of this number you can see over that so because we i have given him the number 20 so you can see over here that uh, a python will ask me for a number and whichever number will be given uh, i will give him then the, that number will be multiplied by number count number x count and after that uh, equals to we have equal we will have equals to sign uh, and then number multiplier account and this this will be executed as the after the equals for example 21 za 21 za 20 20 uh, multiplies by 1 equals to 20 20 multiplied by, by 2 equals 20 equals 40 so the in this way we will write a print statement uh, to create a multiplication table you can see over here that this print statement and uh, now it is seen clearly and you can see it So uh, whenever uh, when I will run this program, it will ask me. So I will want I will be wanting to create the table of uh, 16. So you can see over here that Python has now created the table of 16. So it is so easy when uh, when you will try it, then uh, it will be very easy for you. You can see over there that. You can watch this video as many times to practice this. After the third example, we have fourth example, and after the, in this example, we are will be printing a list in reverse order using a loop. So we can see over here that we have a list named list one, and we have elements in that list: 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Now we want to reverse that list, and after to reverse that list, we want to uh, we created a variable in which uh, the reverse list method uh, we reverse the list uh, the, the list items of uh, this and list one and the reverse list uh, we have uh, the result of this we saved in new list reverse list reverse uh, we reverse the list one uh, so that it reverse all the elements of uh, this list and we want we uh, save the result of uh, that reverse items in the new list variable and after the this this thing uh, we will uh, create a loop and uh, uh, for item in new list and uh, we can see over here that uh, a list has items so for item in new list print item so i want to change number for example i want to change it to number so it is still working so you can change this variable to any number not that you stick to it because uh, i use this item this the word item it does not mean that you still have you have to use only this variable it's item uh, you can change it to any of the desired name so for item in new list this is new list it will check in this item and uh, it will if, if it will find then it will print this item so new list uh, in the reverse order this list in the reverse order which is saved in this variable will be uh, will be now iterated and in each line the these items will be printed 
you can see over here that so we have discussed uh, the fourth after that we will discuss about the fifth uh, and then we will calculate the sum of all numbers from 1 to a given number so now we have uh, to create these two variables and uh, first variable that we will uh, it will be 0 s equals to 0 and we have n equals to we will uh, ask uh, the user uh, n to enter a number and we will save that input into a variable named n so in n we will save the user input uh, in uh, in the s we will be it will be 0 so now we will uh, run loop n times so you can see over here that we will run a loop for i in range 1 because range never include st uh, stop number in result never include stop number in result so it will be uh, n plus 1 for uh, it will be for i in range 1 and n plus 1 but then uh, the, the after that uh, it will be 1 add current number to some variable you can see over here that it will be uh, it will stop that after 1 plus 1 and after that it will be uh, 1 now that we will adding current number to the sum variable s plus equals to i so s plus in the first iteration s is will be 0 you can see over there that equals to i so that uh, it will be 1 and after that it will be 1 plus 1 equals to 2 after that will be 2 plus 1 equals to 3 1 uh, plus 1 equals to 2 and after that uh, it will continue adding these numbers s plus equals to i we have added current uh, number to the sum variable so printing slash so after that we, we are going to print in on, on a new line each of them are printing into a new line so printing print sum is uh, after that uh, we will write this print statement and uh, in the double quotes you can see over that this will be printed as it is after that uh, the the store sum of uh, all numbers you can see over here that s will be placed here so the result it will of s will be printed over here so the sum of all numbers the updated sum of all numbers you can see over that so i'm going to print the result of it so i'm going to uh, write it uh, 10 so the number 1 to 10 when i when i sum the the numbers from 1 to 10 then it will be 15 so you can see over here that so it is now working the sum is 55 now we are going to write a program to display all prime numbers within the range and uh, again that we have a, st uh, a variable start and uh, a variable end so we want to display the prime numbers within 25 from 25 to 50 within that within the range of 25 till 50 what are prime numbers prime numbers are those numbers which comes under only their own multiplication tables that are not uh, called by any other other numbers within uh, when they multiply multiples multiply uh, when they are used in uh, any other uh, multiplication tables for example we have uh, 7 and 7 does not come in any other multiplication table and uh, uh, we uh, write 7 uh, multiplies by 1 equals to 7 so 7 does not come in any other multiplication table so be, so because that 7 is a prime number in the same way we have uh, 11 and we have 5 we have 13 these are the numbers which does not come in any other table so these are called prime numbers 
so we need prime numbers between 25 to 50 so we have created this statement uh, two variables 25 and then 50 uh, initializing for initial uh, initial number and uh, ending number and after that we created this uh, for loop and we created a for number num in range for num in range uh, start number start for example means 25 and n plus 1 50 plus 1 so the loop will end till 50 because we will we have a uh, right over here that 50 plus 1 so it will it will be up to 50 so all prime numbers are greater than 1 if number is less than or equals to 1 it is not a prime number so after that we will have uh, we will uh, apply a certain condition to mat when uh, so that it, this program will be able to check whether a number is a prime number or not after that it will print that prime number within the range so first we have condition to check whether it is a prime number after that the prime number from this list to the, from this number to that number which will be printed that is a logic so first we have uh, inserted the variables and then created print statement then we have a for loop and within this for loop you can see over that it is not closed we will uh, apply a condition that if this condition is true for if this condition is true then again then then you can see over here that we are asking for a loop again so this is a loop in within another loop so this is called nested loop so this for is a nested loop for i in range 2 uh, so Python checks that will check that if number if num is less than one, then uh, it will iterate in range uh, start in start number two to num, and it will check for factors. And uh, if num uh, remainder one not uh, double equals to zero, it is not a prime number. So pi uh, so break in a, uh, in a loop n. Uh, it will look for next number so we will have a statement of break over here so you can see over here that python will check whether this uh, is starting from 2 and uh, till the number and uh, if uh, if num num remainder 1 uh, double equals to 0 then it will break else it will continue printing the num so python will check this condition is true if it is then python will print num you can see over here that these are the prime numbers between 25 and 50 as uh, suppose if, if i am changing this start number from 13 to 50 what will be written so you can see over here that python has changed this from 13 to 47 these are the numbers So, on changing the values, Python, uh, the values of these variables, Python will automatically change the results. So, see this carefully and practice. This code. Okay. After that, we have program number seven. And this program we will find the factorial of a given number and uh, we have uh, likewise we have uh, two variables and first is num equals to 5 and we, uh, the second is factorial and its value is 1 so if num is less than 0 factorial does not ex exist for negative numbers uh, l, l, if, l if num double equals to 0 then print the factorial 0 is 1 if num equals to 0 then uh, double equals to 0 then the factorial is 1 so python will print it as, as 1 else uh, the, the else run loop 5 times after that we will insert a loop uh, till 5 times you can see why 5 times because num equals to 5 so we are going to create a loop for i in range 1 num plus 1 5 plus 1 so the loop will continue till 1 if the number will be less than 5 
uh, then uh, the factorial will not be calculated if the if it will be it will be calculated till the number of 5 so multiply factorial by current number factorial equals to factorial multiply by i so you can see over here that the factorial of num is factorial you can see over here so this is called the factorial uh, so this is uh, uh, how it is calculated you can see over here that this is the same method the factorial of and then this print statement after that we uh, you can ask that why we uh, multiply it because factorial is each time multiplied by itself each iteration and uh, you can see over here that uh, calculate uh, after that we have a uh, program uh, number 8 and in which uh, we will discuss about how to calculate the cube of all numbers from 1 to a given number in python so we will uh, have this variable in, uh, input underscore number equals to 6 uh, it has value 6 input number uh, we are not asking user for input we just given uh, a number as a value of a variable a uh, name input number so that uh, number uh, so that variable input underscore number will be uh, we will be iterating okay for i in range uh, 1 input underscore number plus 1 you can see over here that uh, the thing which is changed uh, actually is you can see over here that the all the method is the same and the print current number is and after that right we have iteration and the cube is uh, i multiply by i multiply by i this is the new thing so uh, it will be multiplied three times so you can see over here that uh, this is the uh, this is the number eight we are calculating the cube of all numbers from number one to a given number you can see over here that current number is i and the cube is this i multiply, I multiply by i so i'm going to run this So you can see over here the cube is now written. Cube of 1 is 1, cube of 2 is 8, 3 is 27 and so on. Till number 6 because we have given here number 6. If I change it to 8, it will change it to itself to 8. Now we have program number 9. Uh, write a program to print the following number pattern using a loop so this is an interesting program and we uh, this uh, sequence the previous these numbers will be written and uh, you can see over there that this pattern this is the number pattern which will be which will be shown when uh, when we will ask for it and print by the uh, number pattern you can see over here that uh, we will create this statement of printing a number pattern and we have raw equals to after that we will uh, this is the heading this is the will be the heading after that uh, we will uh, we will decide the number uh, the number of rows this is uh, for example one row two row three row four row five row so and we need, we are uh, asking for uh, five rows and uh, starting from the one is stop uh, on this stop will will be row plus one so never arrange never include a stop number in result you can see over here that and uh, uh, we are going to start the step one for i in range uh, uh, one raw plus one and uh, after that uh, we will start one and uh, within this loop we have another loop and uh, for another loop in that iterating variable uh, j i can um, made make it uh, name it as uh, k or any other variable but uh, i named it j uh, for j in this range 1 i plus 1 so this uh, this iteration will be again repeated you can see over here that and the number one number again will be added so this is you can see over here that so after that we will have print uh, j and then we will it will be ended e ended by this and e and equals to this empty uh, this is an empty 
variable you can see over here that uh, after that uh, we have an empty line after each row you will have an empty line after each row we are going to print it you can see over here that so you can see over here that so this is uh, this uh, like this pattern is created uh, if I change it to row 8 row, num row equals to 8 then this will be changed into this and I am calling to this you can see over that it is uh, created up to 8 number after this creation of uh, uh, program number 9 we have created program number 10 this is uh, uh, how it is uh, in this uh, program we will count the number of even and odd numbers from a series of numbers now first we will we have created this a tuple a tuple is an immut immutable list so these I the items uh, once declared will not be immutable so this is the difference between a tuple and a list you, you i hope that you, you have uh, understand about it uh, and if you have any trouble uh, any trouble in understanding the why i'm talking to list what are list then we have already the cd the uh, video on on this uh, playlist of uh, our python programming tutorial on our youtube uh, so if you have uh, not watched that class then please watch and you if you have missed any of our class then start from the beginning so that will be help you uh, so that no topic no important topic will be missed from you so we are going to count the number of even and odd numbers from a series of numbers so first of all what we will do we will first create a numbers these numbers a tuple of these numbers 1 to 11 and we will uh, again we will add uh, we have uh, firstly a list uh, for a tuple uh, for, and uh, it, it will have elements from 1 to 11 and after that we will have these two variables the starting uh, num point and the ending point uh, count uh, odd and count even these are the zero from zero to zero so uh, even numbers these are the initial counters uh, of even and odd so these are all zero for because we will check for do these uh, for even uh, separately and for odd numbers separately the number of even number separately the number of odd numbers separately within this series so python what will we do we have uh, created these two variables after the, that we have for we have created the for loop and for x in numbers if uh, not uh, multiply by if not x is a remainder to the remainder is 2 this is the remainder sign uh, I hope that you have known about it and uh, after if not if not x uh, rem is remain remainder 2 so x in numbers uh, each time it will uh, it will uh, loop for uh, each number there and if it, it will find it, it then it will start from uh, uh, from one and if uh, if it's remainder for example will be two uh, one remainder will be two then not will be not two then it will count as an even count uh, even uh, plus equals to one so you can see over that one it is uh, an odd number even number odd number even number odd even odd even odd even uh, odd even uh, uh, even odd and then odd Uh, so in this way this program will work else count odd uh, plus equals to 1 
so the the this is the new keyword not so it will check the uh, the number negatively if not x remainder to then count even plus equals to 1 else count odd plus equals to 1 so python will check for this condition i hope that you understand so and uh, it after that it will print this statement uh, first time that it will print the uh, number of even numbers now after that it will print the number of odd numbers you can see over here that so we have today discuss about uh, the for loops and uh, we have practiced the for loops today and today's class i hope that you have understand about today's class if you have any questions or regarding this then you can ask from us uh, on our facebook group uh, uh, the personally it will not be possible for me to answer each and every st student of mine however if you have uh, take benefit of today's class and you have uh, if any of your concepts are clear then please 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 uh, share my video to your uh, friends and your circles and on facebook as much as you can so and also if you have not subscribed to my channel then subscribe to it so i need a lot of appreciation from you to continue making videos for you so i hope that you will help us in this cause we are not charging any money just uh, because we are sharing knowledge and uh, after uh, when we share knowledge then it increases our knowledge so the goal is that you have to should become a good developer and you should be able to make uh, uh, applications uh, by the end of uh, this uh, long program so if you are if you will show your active presence uh, uh, by watching the videos completely and uh, by uh, keeping active on our groups then uh, it will be uh, a lot of helpful for you in your future intercourse so uh, that uh, if you have uh, uh, not already have downloaded the book for python uh, then please download from our uh, facebook group trixie tips uh, so my name is arsalan jamal and uh, i hope that uh, you will uh, be getting a lot of uh, good things uh, throughout this course which will we discuss so we have discussed today for loops and we have practiced for loops today so in the next class and we have created also the 10 programs with the help of for loops we have discussed even that is called creation so in the next video we will uh, discuss about and practice about the while loops so till then watch this video again and again and practice and practice and then practice this is the key to success thank you have a nice day